Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. Last year, Dr. Kate came on down to Chapel Street to check out their Paw on the Door campaign and all of the amazing businesses that have been embracing our precious pets. Being a Melbourne local girl myself, I thought I'd better pay a visit and see how we were travelling a few months on. Come on, Beth. A common source of behavioural problems in pets, especially dogs, can be loneliness and inactivity while the family's at work and they're stuck at home. Now, there are plenty of amazing pet sitting services out there, but even better yet is being able to bring your dog to work with you. Hive Workspace just off Chapel Street is a great example of a pet friendly workplace. Now, Jonathan, this space is absolutely beautiful. What inspired you to welcome in all the pets? When I was working in corporate in the city every day, I'd see a, a friend and he'd be sitting there with his phone live yeah. streaming his very friend at home. What? And I thought, Listen. if I'm going to make my own office, let's make it somewhere that everyone can feel like they can bring their pets in and they don't have to worry about it and have a bit of peace of mind while they're working. I hear also that there's more than just dogs that have been we, coming in. I have looked after an Amazonian parrot here. Wow. Um, and somebody's brought in one of their lizards. But once you've got your dog to work with you, then there's the question of all those other bits and pieces you try to fit into your workday. We squeeze all kinds of things into those lunch breaks. Picking up prescriptions. Thank you so much. Cheeky pair of shoes. Or even booking a holiday. Don't tell Bear. The end of your workday doesn't necessarily mean heading straight home. A lot of us like to hit the gym after work. But again, we're faced with that same canine conundrum. We can't just leave the dogs outside, so what do we do? Find pooch pilates or a tail wagging workout. It sort of just happened organically. Um, a, a couple of people just started to bring their dogs in. I just mentioned that they could just tie them up next to the, the bench. Do you find that everyone works out a little harder in front of their dog, the pressure's on? Um, I would say definitely not. Not? No, yeah, they get too distracted. I mean, maybe the owners are okay, but the other members that never see that dog, they just, all they want to do is go over there and pat them. So, so it's a bit of an excuse, probably. Yeah, which, uh, <laughs> also, yes, <laughs> excuse, massive. Now that's my kind of gym. And with our workday sorted, it's time to head home. But I'll be coming back for something a little bit more leisurely and Bear will be tagging along with me for that too. Come on, Bear. Come on, pup. Come on.